The advantage of fiber optic cable is long distance, fast speed, and low latency. So how to set up the fiber optic link between the point A to point B for some of our applications such as like the IP camera system. Here's the thing we need. First, we will need the fiber optic converter. Also the fiber optic module and the fiber optic cable. So, so let's see the fiber optic converter. The fiber optic converter will convert the signal between the fiber optic and electricity. So fiber optic cable user, fiber optic module user working in pair, you need to deploy this converter both sides so the electronic signal can be converted to the fiber optic signal and get back to electronic signal again. We got two kinds of fiber optic converter here. Except for the size is different, this small one is the industry grade product. So the advantage of the industry grade product is it can stand a wide range temperature. When we deploy this device outdoor, it's quite critical to pick the uh, industry grade product. And these two are the uh, commercial grade. It is supposed to work in the indoor, sometimes with the air condition. So let's take a close look at the fiber optic converter. You can see there's slot. This is the it's empty, so we cannot install the fiber optic cable to the slot directory because we they need the fiber optic module before we can use the with the fiber optic cable. The fiber optic module will be ins insert and installed to the slot. So you may ask him why this fiber optic module sell separately. Because when we choose the fiber optic module, it, dis it will decide what kind of connector. Like this one is the LC, for the small one, LC fiber optic cable connector. And also the distance. These two can provide two km 20 kilometer fiber optic link. There are still other fiber optic module can provide like 80 kilometer link. And also the fiber optic type. It de decide everything, so that's the reason. But you see, different application may require different product. That's the reason why selling separately. And now here we go go back to our fiber optic cable. It's quite challenging to deal with the fiber optic connector in the field. The reason is not the same as the copper cable. We can just using the RJ45 and crank to make it easier. And so I using the factory pre-made fiber optic cable. The cable is pre-made in the factory and test before it shoot out. So what I got, I just need to plug and pay it save a lot of time, making the install installation quite easier. All right, now let's just make a simple connection. I'm going to pick this industry grade product and we will put this commercial away. Now, first I need to install the fiber optic module on both fiber optic converter now place point A to point B now let's, I'm going to pick the cable you can see the, the indicator A and B I just using the A so I'm going to connect to the connector now the other side also need to port, pick the A and connect to our fiber optic module we got one fiber optic cable extra in future we can use it for the system upgrade and now I will power up the fiber optic converter this is DC 12 voltage power and the other side so once we power up, we can see the power indicator is on. Now I'm going to connect the punch code from the recorder to the fiber optic converter. And the other side, I also need to connect the punch code from the camera to the recorder. All right. Now I didn't Plug tightly. Once I make it right, now seeing the video on light, the signal is sending digital signal sending from the camera and going through the converter and become the fiber optic 
signal and go back to the other end and turn back to the digital signal again. So I just using 100 meter make fiber optic cable. Actually, there could be 20 kilometer if you want. So it's totally longer than the network cable provides. All right, that's all. Thanks for watching.